let's take a look at volunteers in the employment environment. Disputes occasionally arise regarding whether someone performing work is an employee or a volunteer. At first blush, disputes of this kind seem unlikely to occur because the element of payment or expectation of payment for services that lie at the core of an employment relationship is usually absent in volunteer work. The issue of employment status of volunteers overlaps somewhat with other work arrangements, but courts have not identified any specific test or set of factors to distinguish employees from volunteers. One frequently mentioned consideration is whether any benefits received by volunteers constitutes significant remuneration rather than inconsequential incidents of an otherwise gratuitous relationship. A court found that a volunteer firefighter was not an employee for purposes of Title VII sexual harassment claim because the remuneration she received was not significant enough to meet the threshold requirement for paid work. In contrast, some courts treat the issue of remuneration as but one factor in the totality of the circumstances to be considered. Other factors relevant to volunteer cases include whether there's any pressure to engage in work or the degree of similarity between a person's volunteer activities and job duties and the amount of hours per week spent at that volunteer activity. The DOL has defined volunteer as an individual who performs hours of service for a public agency for civic, charitable, or humanitarian reasons without promise, expectation, or receipt of compensation for services rendered. In a case involving non-paid police officers, the court decided that officers were volunteers rather than employees because of the inherently civic nature of police work 